I'm always having good ideas in the shower. I uh, planned the outline for this video while I was taking a shower, but you guys did not need to know that. <laughs> I think that this is an excellent lens. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and professionally I'm a software developer, but in my free time I love landscape photography and making related videos here on YouTube. If you've followed this channel for a while now, you've probably noticed that I really enjoy hiking and travel and that often I do that by myself. I think that a lot of people might be uncomfortable with the idea of traveling or hiking alone. And so today I just wanted to share a few things in favor of solo adventure especially for photographers and other creatives. By the way, I am working on a blog post where I'll talk about solo travel more generally, um, and so you can check that out. It is at blog.emmetbud.com. I'll have a link in the description for that. What I really love about solo travel is just having the time and the freedom to quietly think or meditate or relax uh, without any interruptions. Don't get me wrong, I love going on hikes with my friends and I often do so, but there's something special about being alone somewhere in nature, even just being alone in a house or a hotel room somewhere, um, just having that space to yourself. When there isn't anyone around, you get to experience the world in a different way. When we're with people, we devote part of our senses all of the time to observing our friends so that we can engage in all of the fun that friends bring, but that means that we have less availability for observing our surroundings. When you're alone, you can devote 100% of yourself just to taking in the world around you. It's a wonderful experience to just settle down in a nice spot and just sit there. Leave everyone else behind, put the phone down, and be still for a while. It's incredible how refreshing this can be, not only uh, for your creativity, but to your entire life. It's just to put all other thoughts out of your mind for a while. Being alone in nature is also a great opportunity for creating though. For me as a landscape photographer, being alone really provides the freedom that I need to work. With friends and family around, I don't feel like I have the same space to create as I do when I'm alone. There's always someone who's ready to hike on down the path, or they leave without me and I have to catch up, or they're just waiting and I feel awkward and like I'm bothering them, even if I'm not. When I hike with friends, we're also usually trying to get some exercise, but when I hike for photography, I tend to go for shorter and slower hikes because of all the gear that I have to carry on my back and the fact that, <laughs> let's be real, I'm not in that great of shape. Hiking alone for photography gives me the openness that I need to spend potentially hours in essentially the same spot, capturing a scene at different angles or waiting for the light to change. Speaking of light, it tends to be best early in the morning or in the evening, and when you travel alone um, or you go out on a hike alone, it's a whole lot easier to catch those times, although I'll be honest, it's still hard for me, especially the sunrise one. Uh, but the best time for photos in the evening when I'm more likely to be awake uh, tends also to be about prime time to eat dinner. And when you're traveling with a group, you might find yourself having to choose between dinner with friends and landscape photography. But traveling alone, you don't have to worry about that. On my last trip, I wanted to catch the sunset before dinner, so I booked a table at a restaurant for a while after sunset, watched the sunset on the beach alone before dinner, and then walked to the restaurant. To be honest, I wasn't really sure how eating alone at the restaurant would be because that's not something that I ever really do, but they seated me at a little table next to the open window in the dark. It was actually really nice. I think that uh, the staff are a little bit more likely to chat with you when you're alone and you don't actually get the strange looks that you would think you would get from people because they're pretty preoccupied with their own lives. The restaurant experience leads me to another great thing about traveling alone, which is that you can go wherever you want and do anything you want without coordinating that with anyone. Now this has its challenges too because there are some things that just aren't as fun to do by yourself. When I was in Hawaii, I didn't do any swimming at all, partly because I'm not that big of a swimmer anyway, but partly just because swimming by myself didn't sound that fun. 
but there are advantages too. Um, if there's a restaurant that sounds nice to you, you can just go there. There's no one else's preferences to consider. If you're walking, uh, you can just wander wherever you like. If you want to check out a shop, you can just check it out. Now, obviously, I assume that you guys have considerate friends like I do, and you can just say, hey guys, I want to stop in the shop, and you know, they'll stop with you. But at least as an introvert, I love sometimes to be able to just do things without telling anyone. The final thing that I like about traveling alone is just the ability to take the trip really slowly. When I go places with friends, we usually try to see a lot of things, and that's great. But sometimes I like a trip where I can just spend a lot of time in one place, um, even have some free time there to watch a class online or read or do some meditation or just sit for a while. I don't tend to take very long trips alone in terms of multiple days. Um, I usually just go for a couple days by myself, and I don't think I would enjoy traveling alone for much more than that because there's a lot of activities that I just want to enjoy with friends. But it's nice for a bit to just slow everything down and focus on yourself and your surroundings and be totally free for creative things like photography, art, or writing from a new location. So that is all for this video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more videos that I'm really excited to share with you guys in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.